G'day, I'm Eddie Riddle, the, the mad Aussie fisherman, and I guess it's no secret that I love to fish. In fact, I've been pretty much doing it all my life. But you know what? These days I get a greater kick out of watching other people catch fish, and especially so if they're guests of my Fish City Charters guided fishing operation. But stepping back in time a bit, I found some classic and mostly forgotten fishing action from my television series Fish and Four Wheels. Join me on a journey of big fish, hot tips and interviews with some of the country's most respected anglers, including a very young Carl Jockamson, an Aussie bass angler who was always destined to do his thing on the American pro bass circuit. And remember to subscribe to this channel. You'll receive notification when I upload new videos featuring hot tips and even hotter fishing action, both classics and new releases. But first up, check out this incredible GT, caught back in the day when I could grow hair. setting up about 10 pound or about a third of the breaking strength of the main line. I'm a glutton for punishment. I've got a setting that's probably 15 to nearly 20 old fashioned pounds, which is way in excess of what I should be using if I was to fight this fish for a prolonged period and keep it. But the deal is these big fish are not terribly good on the plate. So there's every chance we're going to let it go. Hence, I want to land him in a hurry so that we can do that in the best possible condition. I've fished this place on and off over the last 15 years and uh, some monstrous trevally live here. Oh. And as we called it, it's a giant trevally in every sense of the word. It is a giant trevally. Oh. Oh. Let's have a look at this guy. And this is at the stage of a fight where anything and everything usually goes wrong. This fish is worn out. I am any indication. Have a look at that! Here, mate, grab that for me, will you? And this was certainly one of those times where if something was going to go wrong, it would happen then. And it did. While our finned friend was always at home swimming in the briny, and I not caring too much about the wet stuff falling from the sky, it was a totally different story when the good old H2O penetrated the camera and buggered up the audio. Now, I know there'll be a handful of viewers happy to not hear me yodeling at the top of my voice for a while, but let me tell you, I was one happy man. The bulk of this fish was truly amazing, and the workout really something else. Giant trevally don't come easy, and when they get to these proportions, they become one of the most formidable predators to swim tropical waters. 
This one, although not commonly landed at about 40 kilograms, still has a bit of growing to do when considering the species has been recorded at better than 60 kilograms in good old Aussie waters. Now, despite the wicked size of the trevally, another highlight of the capture was the size of the hook it was taken on. A poultry 6-0 wide gate or carly hook. For my money, one of the best patterns on the market. What a fish! Have a look at the pegs on it. Ah. This fish was always going to go back and careful attention was paid to keeping the fish supported properly at all times while out of the water. And when placed back in the water, as with most fish, it's a good idea to continue that support until the fish can swim off with little trouble. And often that may take several minutes. <laughs>